On cold winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes and makes funny noises. Love wakes you up all hours of the night with its needs. It needs to be fed so it will grow and stay healthy. Love doesn't like being left alone for long, but come home and love is always happy to see you. It may break a few things accidentally in its passion for life but you can never be mad at love for long. Sometimes love just wants to go for a nice long walk because love loves exercise. It runs you around the block and leaves you panting. It pulls you in several different directions at once or winds around and around you until you're all wound up and can't move. But love makes you meet people wherever you go. People who have nothing in common but love. They stop and talk to each other on the street. Throw things away and love will bring them back. Again and again and again. But most of all, love needs love. Lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. So good afternoon everyone. On behalf of the Northumberland Registration Service and the management and staff here at Charlton Hall, I'd like to welcome you all here for the marriage of James and Rebecca. Today I give you my hand and my heart. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when life seems hard. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today, a commitment made in love. You are my person, my love, and my life, today and always. Rebecca, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage, for today and tomorrow, and for all days to come. Wear it as a sign of the vows we have made this day. It therefore gives me great pleasure, James and Rebecca, to say, you are now united as husband, dad, and wife. And James, I think you know what comes next. <laughs> yeah. Rebecca, I think we can all agree, agree you look absolutely stunning today.
You truly are my inspiration. You make me want to be a better man every single day, a loving husband and a devoted father to Ginny. <laughs> Whilst you are a strong, feisty individual that only yesterday compared, her, compared herself to Martin Luther King and Emily Pankhurst. <laughs> I honestly would be truly lost without you. I'm immensely proud of the success in your life, including now two degrees, a successful career at Nissan, but most importantly, landing the perfect husband. <laughs> I live for the days we go to the beach, hold hands, tell you my stupid jokes. We go out for food, moaning about our days at work. When we go on holiday, when we smile, laugh, and share all things as equal partners. We never have a dull day together. You are so deserving of happiness and all good that life will bring. Rebecca, you are the most loving, caring, funny, good looking, and intelligent person. You are my best friend and I'll love you forever. And I'm so lucky I now get to refer to you as my wife. <laughs> Can I ask everyone to stand, raise a baby Guinness, and toast to my new wife, Rebecca. Rebecca.